awning not only protects you from the rain, it can reduce the temperature in your building. In this video, we're going to show you how to attach an end wall and reglet, which not only helps during rain, but also gives you a well-polished look. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying Factory Direct. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. Cutting and finishing end wall at gable ends. Overlapping end wall trim. Foam closures and fastening end wall trim. Cutting and finishing reglet at gable ends. Overlapping reglet. Fastening reglet. For step-by-step -step installation videos and more, help support our channel by hitting the like button and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Cutting and finishing end wall at gable ends. Start by measuring the width of your gable trim. In this example, we are preparing the end wall with a 4 inch gable. Mark the width of your gable to the lower side of your trim. Then, draw a line from your mark to the top edge. Using metal cutting snips, cut along your line. Overlapping end wall. Overlaps for end wall should be done at a minimum of 6 inches. Start by marking your lower section of end wall by 6 inches. In order to overlap the end wall, you will need to remove a section of the hem. This is done by using metal cutting snips to cut 1 8 of an inch along the 6 inch guideline. Using a hand steamer, bend down any burrs that occurred from cutting. When measuring your adjacent piece, you'll have to account for the 6 inch overlap and the width of your gable trim. Prepare the adjacent piece, slightly pry open the hem, 6 inches from the edge, to allow for the overlap. Silicone sealant should be along the edge and up to the 6 inch mark of any overlaps. Foam closures and fastening end wall trim. Prior to fastening your end wall trim, double sided butyl tape and foam closures should be placed one inch from your end wall lower roof edge. Silicone sealant should be placed along the gable path of the trim and on the top of the foam closures. Prepare your trim for fastening by snapping a chalk line along the top section of your trim at the one inch mark. For an easier installation, pre-drew screw holes 12 inches on center along your chalk line. Silicone sealant should be placed on the back side of your end wall trim. Using pancake screws, attach your end wall trim to the wall. Two lap screws should be placed along the angled cut. Hook your adjacent piece onto the cut hem and begin fastening with pancake screws along your pre-drilled holes. A chalk line should be snapped one inch from the edge along your foam closure path. Continue fastening your end wall with metal to metal lap screws approximately 12 inches apart onto the high seams of your roofing panels. Lap screws should be placed on each side of any overlaps on the high seams of the roof panel. Cutting and finishing reglet at gable ends. Measure the depth of your reglet. Using the measurement of your depth, draw a line along the top side of your reglet. The top section of the reglet will be cut off. Draw a straight line from the corner to the edge of your reglet. The sections marked with an X will be removed. Using metal cutting snips, begin cutting.
Using a hand seamer, fold the remaining tab downward 90 degrees. Overlaps, if required, should be a minimum of 6 inches. Using metal cutting snips, cut 1 eighth of an inch along the 6 inch mark. Using a hand seamer, press down any burrs or shaving that may have occurred during cutting. Snap a chalk line 1 inch from the edge and begin pre-drilling your screw holes 12 inches on center. Fasten the reglet 12 inches on center. When preparing the adjacent piece, do not forget to account for the 6 inches needed for overlaps. Prepare your end section of reglet by repeating the process from earlier. Silicone sealant should be placed on the lower section of reglet along the edge and 6 inch overlap. Slide the section of reglet on the notched edge. Fasten to reglet with screws 12 inches on center. Silicone sealant should be placed along the top and sides of the reglet. Using a putty knife, smooth out the silicone sealant. It is important you immediately clean off all metal burr and shavings. Burr and shaving can rust overnight, so if your installation will take multiple days, you need to clean your roof after each day. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe.